this uh, David Bowie song and I want to do this in honor of him so um, for this song it sounds a lot easier than it is there's a lot of little nuances that you want to add to make the song original or sound true to what people hear there's an acoustic and there's two electrics and we'll cover both and we'll cover the lead so um, to start the song out with, we're going to play an A, and we're going to add on the fifth um, fret the second and first string. And we're going to strum down and up and down and up a total of six times. And then we're into an, kind of a rock and roll rhythm. We're going to go A, and we'll add to that A power chord, the fourth fret of the fourth string, and then we pause. So we have, but you don't want to keep it going. You want to pause in between the uh, fourth of it. So you got the sixth, back to the A, back to the sixth, back to the A, and then the pause. Okay, so that's for uh, a couple measures, and then we're into the verse. The verse is basically two measures of A, and then two of F. And then we're going to go back to our A for two measures, and then F and G. And then we'll go back to A, and then we're going to come to B. Now when we go to a D, alright, we're going to play our D6, so we're going to be playing on the 4th and 3rd string at 2nd fret, and we'll be adding that 4th fret to this chord. Then we go to F and G again, and then we're into the chorus. The chorus is kind of... It's a little pushed. You got A, then A6, and then A, and then you're into the D. And the D is 2D6. So you. Alright, so we have this. Then we're going to F, and then C to G. Now this G, you want to you want to mute that fifth string. You don't want to play the third of the chord. You don't want to play the B. And this will enable you to add the second fret on the fourth string. So it'd be just like you're playing that E note, okay? Then we'll just hit our A with the uh, fifth fret. All right, so you have the rhythm for the verse into the chorus. Let's talk about the outro, because again, there's an electric guitar filling in some of these parts, so we'll talk about that last. But the outro, we're playing our A with the uh, fifth fret again. And then to an F. to a what I call a big E. We're gonna play an, an E chord, alright? Fifth root. We'll play on that on the seventh fret, nine on the uh, fourth and third string. We'll leave the sixth, second, and first string open. And it's a total of it's an eight count, if you will. And then you're just 
hitting an A to end the song. So that's the acoustic part. Let's lead into the uh, electric now. You're going to start on the 6th string, but you're also going to hit the 5th string open. So it's going to sound like this. Alright, so again, if you've got multiple guitars, you can do this part. What you're doing is sliding on that E string up to five and then from four to five three times so you can see how that part fits in there okay that's just one guitar so let's talk about um, what the other guitar is doing. So the second electric guitar uh, is kind of following the acoustic, okay? I don't have any fuzz on, I don't have any wad, just got more of a rhythm tone with the plexi amp simulator I have on Guitar Rig uh, 4. So it should sound like this. <laughs> So that rhythm, we're sliding from the F to the A, and we're adding our um, sixth to the A chord. So it's just a power chord on the fifth and fourth string, and on the fourth string, we'll go from seven to nine. And there's four of those. So from there, we're going back right into the verse rhythm. So we go to F twice, all right, from the A. And then we're going to our A again. To F and G. And then our A, air, then our A and to B then we'll do our D and D6 measure back to F and then our A will start the rhythm again So you can follow that rhythm throughout it. So the chorus should sound like this. Then F and G. Okay, for the outro, the uh, electric guitar changes it up a little bit according to the acoustic, which is playing A and F. So you'll have this. you'll have this. All 
All right, so what we're doing there is an A, we're gonna hit it twice. And then we're gonna hit the notes D on the fifth string at the fifth fret to C on the uh, third fret to A on the uh, sixth string at the fifth fret and then to an F. Hit it again, then go to G. this A or and for the ending we'll have this what I call the big E and then to A okay so we'll go over the lead next here's a lead at speed and then we'll slow it down Lead, not real difficult it's how he it's how he does it so we're gonna be on the uh, third string at the fourth fret we're gonna bend that up and release and bend it up and release and bend it up and release three times the third time we keep it up and we're gonna hit the fifth fret of the first string all right and then we hit that Four, bend up and release it just a half step so we have this so far all right and then the next part will go five bent twice and then four on that third string bent three times when we bend it up the third time we're going to hit that first string at the fifth fret again and then release that for a half step on the third string so i know that's a lot but here's how it should sound one two three four hit five on the third string bend that up and hit five on the first string okay and then we're going to come back to the fourth string from two to four to the third string at two and then four with a bend and release to two and then what we'll do is hit four on the um, third string and slide that up to six. So we have this. Okay, next part we'll go two hammer on to four on the fourth string. Then we'll hit the third string two to four. So we have this. And then we're going to hit the third string twice on the second fret. Back to four on the fourth string. Then we hit two on the third string. Then just take your pinky, hit that fifth fret of the third string, bend that up. And then the fourth string, bend and release to two. Then we'll hit four on the um, fourth string. Then we'll hit four on the third string with a bend, catch five on the second string. Then we'll hit 
four and release and pull off to two. So we have this. Um, let's take it from the two to four at the last measure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a whole lead. It's not very difficult, it's how it's pulled off. So listen to it, practice that slowly like I did, and you'll have it. So we'll go all together one more time. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Set, you'll have the lead down and again the song continues on with the rhythm and the outro so I hope that helps it so I hope that helps everybody and God bless David Bowie enjoy <laughs>